June 13th, 2023. June 13th, 2023, video log. It's about 1.40 or 12.40 p.m. Eastern Time. We're in Homestead, Florida in the Redland Farm area. I'm trying to replace the fuel sending unit and fuel level and fuel pump in this 1994 Astro van. And to get the gas out of it, you could siphon it, which is what it seems to be doing right now. A little bit here and there, I see the air bubbles. But you, I had to take this fuel filter out. And it's a 14 millimeter to get the bolt loose. And then a 20 millimeter uh, to hold the big fat connector here. And then a smaller wrench, either a 19 or 22, I think it was a 19 uh, flare wrench. Because you really got a torque on that thing. They're really tight. But to get, pump it out, I'm going to use the pump in the tank, assuming it hasn't failed, which this is a good test to see if the pump works. A lot I, We have a lot of posts where people say, I can't start my van. Well, do you have any fuel pressure? Is your fuel pump working? So you can connect it to this factory connector here and give the fuel pump and the gas, uh, bypass everything and give it some power from the battery. And this is fused. And no sparks. Okay, that started up the gas tank and now she's pumping gas out of the out of the van using the fuel tank. You can hear it if you listen carefully. And if you're good at making adapters and stuff, you can measure the fuel pressure right there at the fuel filter too. It ought to be 90 PSI out of the fuel pump because the fuel injection system, the CPI, uh, Central Multiport Fuel Injection, people call CPI, it requires 62 PSI or more. The, the regulator holds it at 62. And this is the VIN W engine, RPO L35. So, this is how you do it class any questions and then when you're done you put it back together again but the next video we're going to be after we get the gas out of the tank we're going to uh, we're going to take start removing the gas tank some people uh, fabricate an access port in the back over the fuel pump because the fuel pump fails so often on because this fuel injection system requires higher high pressure uh, but do-it-yourself work, death or injury can result just like a lot of other work, so uh, maybe you need to have a shop do this, but I'm just trying to tell people this is how you can get the gas out of your tank, assuming the fuel pump is good, even if it doesn't make good pr I've had brand new fuel pumps out of the box I've put in and then found out that they don't make pressure, enough pressure. Uh, I don't know what's going on with quality control, I don't know what's going causing the tanks to fail but uh, while we're waiting for that to pump and um, trying to think of anything else to tell you the object of this video today if if I can get it done before it rains is to replace my fuel tank assembly with a new fuel pump and uh, put that in while it's still under warranty where if this doesn't work or doesn't fit I can return it that's why I'm doing this in a hurry and I'll do other video logs here in segments and then I'll put them together into a video production later and at the end of my videos I put my notes and all of my research uh, at the end of the video so you can fast forward to the videos when they've been edited into a production. The segments, I don't have time. I'm too busy working to develop the segment and do this video and talk. But uh, anyway, this is uh, filling that up nicely. And let's see, let's, I don't want it to be slap full, so let me go to the other tank here. And uh, I gotta get 
all the gas out of it because it'll be heavy otherwise when I go to loosen those straps and drop the fuel tank. And somebody was asking, do you cut the wires or something? Like Most of these come with wires all the way to the connector where you can plug it right in. So you shouldn't have to cut any wires or doing any soldering. You may have some trouble getting the old one out and the new one in because that requires technique uh, to get that that thing loose that holds it in place and it usually just takes a little tap one or two taps the right way with a with a screwdriver without making any sparks uh, preferably something brass that doesn't make sparks and get it loose and but we'll show that in a future video when I get the tank dropped because I'm hoping to get this done before it starts raining today though weather forecast says that we're going to have heavy thunderstorms in the afternoon and it's now in the afternoon again this is Dennis Seitzma, Dennis John Seitzma Productions Homestead Florida USA thanks for watching if you like anything give me a thumbs up you don't have to subscribe unless you want to oh I'm running out of gas already that's good it's I must be almost dry I'm seeing bubbles coming out of the fuel tank uh, again, Homestead, Florida, USA, uh, do-it-yourself work is at your own risk. Death or injury can result if you don't follow safety precautions. And uh, that's why you pay shops, is so you don't have to take this risk and let the professionals do it. But I'm a do-it-yourself enthusiast, and I mainly do the work myself because I want to save time and money, mainly time, because... I go to a shop and I gotta explain what I need and then I gotta negotiate price and I uh, just I'd rather do it myself. Thanks for watching.